What are you doing here? What up, me? Yep. If you do this shit, you can never go back. You don't want to do that, son. It's your mama doing this shit to you. Rock is setting you up. <gasps> Clearly, there is one thing in common between Kanan and Tariq, only that Kanan didn't know he was shooting his own father. Well, let's hope we don't find out later that Tariq is Kanan's son. But then, there is a difference between killing your father and shooting your dad. The question is, did Kanan miss? Was Kanan able to kill his father with just one bullet? Now that we have found out what Unique's jacket was going to be used for, I'll tell you why Kanan had to wear that jacket to meet his unknown father and how Raquel set everything up. What's up YouTube and Power fans, it's your boy Nino and I'm back with another Power video episode 9 of Raising Kanan. If you're new to my channel, kindly hit the subscribe button and don't forget to like this video, leave your comments and let's get interactive. Now, in this video, I'm going to break down part of episode 9 and what to expect in episode 10, which is the season finale. In my last video, I said Symphony was going to tell Raquel what he saw between Tony and Uncle Marvin in the club. Well, he did so, but in a more uncomfortable way as Raquel finally kind of part ways with him. But I know definitely Raquel will need him again. Now to the big issue. Raquel putting Kanan up to kill Detective Howard was a good idea for her but a wrong timing from her and for her to think Kanan was the best person to do that is even the worst part of her idea but that was her only option. But then Raquel was trying to kill two bears with one stone by one killing the detective to get him off her back with Kanan's issue too by making Unique pay for it and for her plan to work it has to be Kanan. I know a lot of people are still wondering why Kanan wore Unique's jacket to go and commit the crime. But let me break it down by telling you Raquel's plan and why she used Kanan. At this church scene where Marvin and Raquel met, Raquel said something after Marvin told her how he missed on Unique because of his bulletproof car. And in Raquel's reply, she said you come to clean the shit I already put in motion. This means Raquel had her own plan rolled out without Marvin knowing it. Now, Raquel's plan was to send Kanan to kill his father and in case someone happens to see Kanan leaving the scene, there is only one thing the person can be sure of and that is Unique's jacket with the name behind it. So any eyewitness to the detective's shooting will surely identify the person as Unique and when that happens, Unique will go inside for killing a cop. He will probably even end up getting the needle and with all honesty, Raquel doesn't really know the capabilities of her son. That is, he cannot finish what he started. And if you follow Kanan's character keenly, you'll notice that he doesn't do anything right. He always leaves the bigger part of the problem unsolved. The main question is, why would Raquel even think of setting her own son up to do something like that to a cop? The reason is, only Kanan could pull up on Detective Howard and still survive and Raquel knew it. Why? Because... Raquel knew very well he wouldn't think of Kanan coming with a gun to kill him, so he equally might not carry a gun to meet his son for the first time. Just like the advice Kanan's spirit gave to Rick about the fact that Ghost wouldn't see him coming should he be the one to pull the trigger, it is the same thing Raquel figured out and that was why she put Kanan behind the gun. And Unique's jacket was her contingency plan for Kanan. Matthias gonna light his ass up. I'm about to ask you to walk up to a man, look him dead in the eye, and put him on his back for good. But he won't see that coming from you. And you're the only one who can do this. Live by the street, die by the street, nigga. And it's gotta be you who pulls the trigger. But you gotta make the man's move. It's all on you. Everything. Everyone. Just gotta step into it. <gasps> Now, the instructions from Raquel to Kanan was to shoot him twice in the heart and once in the head. But Kanan, as I always say, will fuck everything up. From all indications, Kanan didn't shoot the detective in the head or even shoot him twice. Now, the only reason I can think of is, as he moved closer to finish him off, the detective probably said something to him about being his father that possibly might have shocked Kanan for a minute until someone saw him and raised an alarm and then Kanan fled. Or, as soon as he was giving closer to give the headshot, a police car was approaching so he went into hiding. 
Canaan think he killed the man with one bullet. Now, I found this scene interesting because Canaan had the chance to shoot his father in the head, but Tariq didn't get the chance to do so because of the distance and Tommy's arrival. So this was the big idea Raquel had for both the detective and unique and Kanan was the only tool she could have used. But then this move by Raquel happened at the wrong time and I'm sure Lulu will not be happy with this move she made. Reason being that she sent her own son after a cop knowing the consequences of that. Personally, I think the detective helped save Lulu's life so even if anything, she should have considered that and find another option of getting unique. But since she was also not willing to tell Kanan the truth, she is probably afraid if Kanan finds out, he will hate her. Therefore, she sees him staying alive as a big problem to her, hence her uncalculated action. Let me know in the comment section what you think about Raquel's move and using Kanan. Moving on to Jukebox, she had a hell of an episode. Starting from fighting with her father after he found out about her affairs with Nicole and having to find herself almost choked to death by her own father, I think Juke is now messed up in life. Now, if you remember in power when Kanan shot Jukebox to save the rig, Kanan says something about her that she talks too much. Now, this statement hasn't really reflected in the young Jukebox up until this episode where she went telling the female cop about Unique's rehab and this was after the fight between she and Marvin. Secondly, because Raquel told her it's good to keep Cos as friends, she went to the cop to give her the information just to win her trust. But this move will probably cause Jukes arrest because from all indication, the female cop will arrest Jukes and this comes after Detective Howard got shot. The reason she will bring Jukebox in is for questioning since it wasn't long after she told her in the car that she is in danger and that all the police department should be careful because the police is under attack. And we know Juke, if she asks her on a friendly ground, she wasn't going to say anything. So the best option for the female detective is to bring Jukebox in for questioning since she believes she knows something. How would Juke feel about all this? In her mind, she was just trying to help the detective because Raquel told her that she liked her. So she feels the need to protect her. But now that she will arrest Juke, I think her ruthlessness starts from here. Everyone seems to betray her. Death took her love away. Her father almost choked her to death. The person she is trying to help has also arrested her. What else is there for Juke to be considerate about? Nothing. Let me know what you think about the state of Jukebox. I'll probably do a second version of this video then I'll explain exactly how Raquel planned everything that went down with Kanan and Detective Howard and who she plays at the scene and how Kanan managed to run from the scene. If you are new to my channel, kindly hit the subscribe button. If you like this video, share, like, leave your comments. Let's get interactive and I'll see you in the next video. Thank you for watching.